narcissistic men are not real men. Life is not easy for men. It's difficult for us to be noticed. It's difficult for us to stand out from the crowd. It's difficult for us to achieve a social or professional position. It's a long, hard road. And women expect a lot from us. They expect us to be intelligent and strong. They expect us to have a compelling charm that inspires their devotion. They expect us to attract and fascinate them. They expect us to have a nice home, a nice car, a good job and good friends. They expect us to have good physical and mental well-being. Which is very difficult for us to do. But both men and women want attention. We all want to be noticed. And it's a very difficult process to become a man where you are able to obtain that attention due to your abilities to do things successfully and efficiently. So they start to notice other things that are getting them attention. Whether it's manipulation or throwing temper tantrums. And it acts as a replacement for the distinctive attributes and characteristics of being a man. They become male attention whores. They routinely solicit attention through inappropriate acts and provocation. They're flirtatious. They're obsessed with themselves. And they think that they deserve all of your attention. They lie to you to make themselves seem more interesting. They attract your attention by disruptive and excessively extrovert behavior. But men who have done the work and have established a social and professional position and they have achieved importance and reputation gained by their abilities and achievements are not interested in engaging in that type of behavior because they get attention naturally they don't have to woo you they don't have to be impressive and imposing they don't have to put on a show I get attention just from talking. I could talk about my life and that would get a lot of attention. I don't have to do anything to get people to look at me because I've already done the work to become the person I am today. But narcissistic men have chosen to skip that process. They've skipped the trials and tribulations. They've skipped the effort that it takes to become a real man. When to be a man, you need to have money. You need to be strong and intelligent. You need to have good connections. 
but social media and modern women are enabling men to skip the entire process of maturity. So now we have men who are like real life Homer Simpsons. Men who are fat and eat McDonald's every day. Men who don't have a job. Men who have no purpose in life. And yet they have tons of women chasing after them. So it creates an illusion of success. It makes them seem like they're more important than they actually are. It feeds their ego. It develops these delusions of grandeur. This exaggerated sense of their abilities and importance. But they're not real men. And they will never be real men. Because to become a man, you must go through the trials and tribulations. You must experience pain and difficulty. You must experience failure and hardship until you learn to become successful. Until you learn to become a man. But instead of that, narcissistic men find other ways to gain attention. They manipulate people. They throw temper tantrums. They cut corners. And they end up going around in circles because they refuse to take accountability. And accountability is the key to our success. So how do you deal with a narcissistic man? You leave him alone. You walk away. Because as long as you stay with him, he's never going to change. You'll just be enabling his behavior to continue. You'll be his crutch. And he will know that you will always be there to catch him if he falls. But when you walk away, you give him the opportunity to find himself. You give him the opportunity to become a man. And there is no greater gift that you can give a man than that. That's something all men need. We need to have our hearts broken. We need to experience failure. We need to be left alone so that we can stand on our own two feet. That's when we learn to become men. But not everyone has the ability to become a man. Some will succeed, others will fail. It's survival of the fittest. But nothing good comes out of enabling a narcissistic man. It's not good for them. And it's not good for you. You may be limiting his potential. You may be preventing him from becoming the man that he is supposed to be. And you may also be sabotaging your own happiness and fulfillment by supporting a man who is not willing or able to support you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, 
share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach the inquiries, you can email me at coach.nartsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.